Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to his slight failure Halloween trick. Obviously you saw on the blooper something you shouldn't have seen, but I'm going to show you what I've done. And I've even marked this deck with a little bomb on it, look, so I know what deck this is. So to start with, we have a basic flap card with boom on the open side, on the closed side, and a little de detonator TNT on this side. This was just, I googled cartoon explosions, explosives, TNT, that sort of thing, and I came up with this. So it will start out as the detonator, the timer, and when it goes off, it will go boom. So this is a very basic flap card. I'm not going to show you on this video how to make a very basic flap card, but I will in the next week. It's very simple. It does not involve splitting cards at all. It's just a basic flap. So that was that part. The other part of it was this. This is a complete block of cards all stuck together with a balloon hinged flap on the top concealing the banger. I will leave a link in description to where you can buy this banger from. I am not going to set this off now because it will freak the dogs out, but it will stay hidden under the flap and then it should under its own steam open and close again. Now it doesn't seem to push the flap open, which is a bit annoying. Sometimes it seems to stay closed. Look, maybe if I stuck this round the other way, it might, but it will hit, stay under there and then it will go off. And the idea of the flap was that it would conceal the banger. I did make a previous explode, exploding deck, but I just cut at the bottom so you could see it here. But I painstakingly cut out that. Well, I say painstakingly, I just use my hole punch, punch some holes through it. Did the good old balloon flap hinge so that will conceal it. And the caps you use are these. These are just caps from a toy shop. There's 144. These are large caps and on the video, I don't think the microphone is up to scratch really. It doesn't pick up the actual sound of the bang. Now, in a closed space like a room or something, it is pretty loud. I've got to say it is pretty loud. So if you didn't want to use this flap card, you could load up your banger, load it up, close the flap, put this into the box. And then if I put the banger around the other way, I think if somebody was to take these cards out, this would go off. Now what's happening is it's got to lift up this whole mechanism look. If I just stuck it down the other way, it would only lift up this flap. So I think that would be better. But you get the idea. It is concealed under this flap. And we have a simple flap card. So what should have what I found is happening is when this banger goes off, it throws this open quite fiercely, which then throws this flap up, which throws this off the deck. So we'll try it without the bang. Now when you've got the banger in there as well, there is a small explosive in there, so it does throw that up with some force. So you're going to be in this position and it would go like that and that would should open look it's not opening so i do think that i'm going to probably pull this out and turn it over and stick it down the other way but that's how gaffer did his val is i keep saying bloody valentine's his halloween card trick simple flap card with a concealed banger like i say i'll leave a link in description to where you can get the banger from I'm pretty sure we can get these caps, but all you've got to do is Google what you can see here. £1.70 look for 144 shots. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and somebody has asked me to do a detailed tutorial on how to make this balloon spring-loaded hinge flap. He's having trouble. So that's it guys. Cheers for your support and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.